All right. Uh, thank everybody. Um, my talk is uh, called Scalability Yesterday. We kind of like ran a <laughs> state channel during the course of last December, early January. Um, and it was an auction of non-fungible tokens uh, for land inside of Decentraland. Um, the quality of the slides is not going to be great because I heard that there wasn't going to be any presentations, so it's just to give the presentation some structure. Um, so this has three steps, kind of like a reservation period where people reserve their tokens inside of a smart contract. Then the whole off-chain auction, which consisted of signing back and forth messages in a verifiable way. And then the end of it, which was verification and deployment of the NFT tokens. Um, our goals with this was to have finality or instant confirmations on parts of the users while they were like, uh, bidding on every land uh, and saving gas for our users. Um, we achieved this, these goals. Um, we planned for low gas periods uh, to deploy the NFTs. It ended up going like way lower after we <laughs> after a uh, couple of weeks afterwards, but yeah. Um, we handled about 130k k bits, so it was not a lot of uh, transactions saved in the middle, but four or five times plus a lot of logic that would have taken a lot more gas inside of inside of uh, the blockchain. Um, so this is a cool visualization somebody did uh, from the community. Um, the height of every every one of those things is kind of like the amount bid for every land plot. Um, this is a heat map of all the land plots and how much people bid. And this is kind of like a map. Some areas here weren't uh, available for the auction, but I won't bother you with all of that. And um, yeah, so the design of the state channel, um, I don't, I'm not quite sure if calling it state channel is very accurate. It was kind of like a verifiable off-chain process to run something one time. And we're looking into other scalability solutions for all the rest of the things that we want to do afterwards. Um, so we had one server, uh, well, a couple of front ends, and the whole like deployment uh, as usual. <coughs> uh, uh, one database, um, and the server would verify all the transaction, all the signed messages that users provided through the interface. Um, a cool thing was that. Uh, the messages were both machine parsable and human readable, which was kind of cool. When you when MetaMask popped out, uh, you could see what, what was it what was it that you were signing. If you used Ledger or whatever, you didn't. But um, but yeah, the server will reply back with a with a signed uh, message for an acknowledging your request. Um, the whole verification thing was very important for us and for the community to make sure that, the, that we're doing this right. Um, but the severe drawback of this whole process was uh, availability and censorship resistance uh, in some sense. Uh, if we had uh, any downtime, uh, then users wouldn't be able to bid on, on stuff. <coughs> then we also ha have had no on-chain verification, and this is something that it would have been really nice to add, some kind of way that if we signed twice the same nonce or something like that, there would be some kind of like reward to keep us honest. Like that's something that we could we could have added. Um, 
And I will suggest if anybody here wants to implement some scalability now thing in in this regard, like that um, that you pay attention to to through it. I think it will have been really nice to to validate all the business rules that we had defined. Um, it was a pretty simple state machine, verifying that you had funds to bid and you were following the rules, uh, bidding on the right parcels. So as a conclusion, um, there are a lot of weak points of trying to do an off-chain process like this right now. Uh, censorship resistance, I think, is the the best one. Um, slash, slashing conditions, um, yeah, I've already talked about it. Um, JavaScript is a nightmare. Um, impossible to know that <laughs> everything is going to kind of like run with all of those packages. Um, uh, yeah, it's really, <laughs> really bad. Um, another conclusion, and I think that this is kind of like particular to the way that we did this, is that it will be nice to have some kind of uh, automated migrations uh, based on the desired state of your smart contract. Like, um, I want all of this land to be attributed to such and such and such address, and then the tool can say, oh, well, I can deploy an NFT to this address in such way and uh, plan this whole process and create the transactions as needed. Um, the reason I mentioned this is because there are some similarities with deploying multisigs or deploying new contracts or migrations um, that will be benefiting for, from something like this. Um, and then we are taking out some of these ideas uh, to create a uh, completely off-chain voting application that we are we are looking to see how can we provide uh, the censorship resistant aspects of it, which are pretty important in a voting application. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that this is something that works right now signing messages back and forth after deciding some kind of authority. So yeah, this can also be seen uh, like as a special purpose proof of authority chain. So if anybody has any questions, uh, be glad to answer them. Otherwise, thanks for your time. Um, so what would I do different this time? Um, well, I think I, I said it. Um, more slashing conditions. Uh, some members of our community were like querying our server, making sure that everything was running smoothly. But it would have been nice to incentivize that with some, some on-chain reward for finding bugs or misbehavior. I think that's the number one thing. Um, and JavaScript is kind of like a nightmare, but um, right now it will be like the only kind of solution for this. Uh, and with regards to censorship resistance, um, something on chain can also be done as well, kind of like, um, submitting a message to the blockchain and if I don't reply to that in a couple of hours or something like that, then you get a big million dollar reward or something like that. Um, I think, yeah, that, that will be the whole set. Um, right. Any other questions? Oh, thank you.